As you're trying to optimize when it's best for you to claim your social security benefits, if you're thinking about delaying, there's one major factor many people overlook. I've got that more coming up. My name is Mike Bernard, I'm the host of The Wise Money Show. I'm also one of the certified financial planners right here at Corhorn Financial Group. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and smash that thumbs up button. There is no one size fits all approach when it comes to Social Security. A lot of emotion involved. You've been paying into this thing for your entire life. You have no idea what the government's done with your tax dollars. You have no idea if they're gonna make any changes and all of that. And so, so when to draw Social Security is a very emotional decision. The, the, uh, the, the data is very clear. People draw, the majority of people draw as soon as they possibly can. Oftentimes that is the best approach, although sometimes it might be best to delay. You gotta work with your certified financial planner and optimize Social Security for your situation. There is a way to plan your way through it, build that five-factor retirement plan, and stress test that to say, if I draw Social Security right away, if I delay a few years, my full retirement age, all the way until age 70. There's no one-size-fits-all approach. Yet, like I said, drawing right away, the reasons are obvious why you may wanna do that. If you have poor health, that's one. If you are married and your spouse is going to draw off of your own social security, they can't do so until you begin social security. And uh, they, they used to be a, a restricted application or a file and suspend strategy, two different strategies that would allow your spouse to do that no more, right? So, so if, you're, if it's best for your spouse to draw off of your social security, that might be a reason why you should draw early. If you have a minor child at home, those are just a few of the reasons why it would make sense for you to draw right away. But there's one other glaring reason that is often overlooked. But the real risk in delaying your social security is that you draw down your own assets too quickly and you lose your liquidity. Here's an example, okay? Say that at, uh, at age 62, your social security benefits, if you, if you turn them on, would be about $20,000, okay? You have a half million dollars saved up for, for retirement and your IRAs and, and, and whatnot, and you need about 60 grand a year, five grand a month for, to, to meet your lifestyle. If you delay social security at age 62 and instead draw it at, at your full retirement age, age 70, five years later, instead of 20 grand a year, it's gonna be 30 grand a year. Well, if you do that, then you're gonna be drawing out that 60 grand a year out of your own nest egg, out of your own retirement dollars, your half million, your, your 500,000. And let's pretend there aren't even any taxes, that would make matters worse, but for five years, drawing 60 grand out, you've drawn $300,000 out of your half million dollars, out of your nest egg that you've built up. Now, I understand that hopefully you're earning interest, but if you're drawing that much money out in such a short period of time, you could argue that that $500,000, your nest egg, shouldn't be invested very aggressively because just in case we have a short-term drawdown in the market, a recession, a bear market, something like that, which is you know, very possible at any given moment, no matter how optimistic you are, those dollars are short-term and therefore they shouldn't be invested very aggressively. Likely you're not earning a ton of interest on that half a million dollars. Drawing $300,000 out, out of just, in just five years leaves you with just a meager 200,000 left in your nest egg by the time you turn on Social Security at age 67. See guys, that's the big risk that most people don't factor in when they think of delaying Social Security. One of the reasons when we're doing financial planning, doing that stress test, that five-factor retirement plan, and optimizing for Social Security, one of the requirements, one of the factors, one of the considerations when we're saying, hey, you, you may wanna delay drawing Social Security is if there is an ample nest egg, a large enough nest egg, that as you draw it down, you still have plenty of liquidity. Because going back to that example, now you just have $200,000 left in your IRA. That's gotta stretch the rest of your life, hopefully a couple decades. And what do you do when you have a big purchase? When, when you need a new vehicle? Your only choice is to get a loan versus drawing a lump sum out of your nest egg that's already significantly smaller, just a, just almost you know a, a, a fraction of what it was. Or if you are moving, right, and you need a down payment, or you're doing a home renovation, 
you have, have significantly reduced your own liquidity because you drew out so much of your own nest egg first in order to delay Social Security. And then that's when that fear of what if you don't have longevity, what if your life expectancy isn't on the long end of that, that's when that fear really, really becomes tangible, right? Because if you pass away early, earlier in retirement, and, and you've already spent through a chunk of your own assets, your kids aren't able to, your family, your heirs are not able to inherit a as large of a lump sum, and they're not able to inherit any of your unused undrawn social security benefits. So that's one of the major risks that people often don't consider when they're looking at the best way for them to draw social security. So how do you solve it? Again, I go back to that five factor retirement plan that you're doing with your CFP, who's a fiduciary, who's not just trying to help you with your investments, but they're looking at all six areas of your financial plan. And when you think of drawing social security, that is, that is touching so many parts of your financial life. It's, it's touching your present financial position, your cash flow, right? It's touching the third area of your financial life, your, your tax planning, because Social Security is actually a, a little, it's taxed differently. We've done a lot of content on that, so you wanna be aware of that. It impacts your investment plan, your investment strategies. Like I said, if you, if you drew Social Security early and you didn't have as much of your, your nest egg, your retirement dollars that you needed to draw on immediately, you could invest it a little bit differently, a, a little bit more aggressively, because those dollars are expected to last longer. Your Social Security, uh, obviously, that claiming strategy is going to impact your, your retirement plan, and it's going to impact your estate plan as well. How much of your nest egg do you have left over? So clearly right there, drawing Social Security, that choice touches directly five out of the six areas of your financial life. You've got to work with your CFP. And then, like I said, how else do you determine this? You build out that five-factor retirement plan to see based on all of your assumptions, when you want to retire, how much you're going to spend, looking at all of your income sources, how much you have saved up, and how much investment risk you're comfortable taking with those dollars. And you see what that confidence ratio is that that plan works. After a thousand stress tests or even more, what's the confidence rate that you're on track? And then switch, adjust when you claim Social Security. Okay, now let's see what it looks like if I draw it at 62. Let's see what it looks like if I draw it at 65 or 67 or delay it all the way until 70. And you're gonna look at that analysis to see how that confidence rate uh, adapts and then you're gonna talk through it with your CFP and they're gonna say, you know, trade-offs and, and work through, well, if you draw it at this time, here's one thing you need to consider or here's what stands out, here are the drawbacks, but if you draw it at this time, here are the benefits to do so. And they objectively will help you optimize and determine the best way for you to draw Social Security. Work with your certified financial planner on that. If you don't have a CFP on your team, you can contact one of my team. Find us online, corehorn.com. That's Corhorn with KYSMoneyShow.com. You can find us there as well, or give us a call, 574-247-5898. All right, there you have it. Go out and take your next Y step in your financial life.